And now it's time for Dear Love Talk, where we answer your relationship-related questions. You can email us at questions at lovetalkshow.tv and you can also send us your video question if you want. You just need to use the hashtag Love Talk Questions. You can send us on Facebook, Instagram, or by email. So let's go to the first question. Let's go to the first question. So the first question is, I've been in a serious relationship for 10 months and everything was going great. But, mm -hmm, uh -huh. now comes a but. Okay. For the past two months, we've been arguing a lot. It seems we can't talk anymore because anything will turn into an argument. And he has been quite rude a few times. He's been talking about marriage, but even though I love him, I'm not sure if he, we are ready for this step. Please help. Hmm. And then, <laughs> from a woman's perspective. I think that the first question, even before her question is, she's saying that um, everything was great, but then it seems that two months ago, things started going south. Why? I mm -hmm. find it strange that you be in a relationship and everything is great and then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. so I find it hard to believe is what I'm saying, that everything was great. So there must have been something from the beginning, either that or the guy was pretending, mm -hmm. you know, to be nice, yes. to like her, even though I think, even when people pretend, it. It, you know, it comes out who they truly are here and there. So if he's not pre pretending, then something really happened two months ago. What is it? She didn't say, but something must have happened two, uh -huh. two months ago to cause and, this, mm -hmm. this problem between and, and, them. And she, he, she needs to go deep. You need to see what's going on, what is behind that, that sudden change. Because, you know, you don't want to go into a relationship, by the way, a long-term relationship, because you're talking about marriage, with that question in the back of your mind. Or be with someone who will be changing his mind, fluctuating between one thought and another, it, it, it's not right. So I think you need to dig deeper and deeper and see what is behind that, and then make a decision. But remember, don't make that decision based on emotions. Mm -hmm. Make the decision made, uh, based on reason. And right? also I think, you see, Things are going, things are, have been strange, and she says he's being rude. He's, sometimes he has been rude. They can't seem to understand each other. And he's talking about marriage. Mm -hmm. So I think marriage at this point is something to postpone, there's not a, even to think about. There's a First, dis yeah. discrepancy there, right? So uh, how can you suggest marriage? <laughs> when right? things are not or going, propose yeah. When you are not behaving in a proper way towards your all the half. Mm -hmm. So imagine me approaching you, you know, let's get married, but I'm rude. I'm, I'm, you know, I lose my temper. So what does that tell you? Yeah, I think um, you who wrote to us, you need to sit down. If you already know what has happened two months ago, then you have to talk about that and solve that. Mm -hmm. See what, what caused it. If you don't know, then of course you need to sit down and talk about it. Not about marriage, but about why is this happening, mm -hmm. if it can be solved at all. And make so, sure the rudeness comes to an end. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Otherwise, no marriage. Good. No. Let's go into the second question then, right? It's a video question. Let's okay. watch it. Hi, Luke and Rafa. My name is Matilda. And my question for you today is this. How do you know when someone likes you? So if a person is attracted to you, or maybe you want to know, but you're not sure, what are the signs, especially as a girl, how do you know when a guy really likes you and is into you? Thank you. <laughs> wow. I really like, by the way, this mm -hmm. video question. Yeah, it's very it's, nice. It's, it's different. Yes. Um, when we're going to have a, a man, I think we had a man asking a question last, last week. Yeah, week. I was going to say that. Yeah. You know? Usually, well, most of the questions we get from women, so man, come on. Step up your game. <laughs> Why is it that men don't write? Don't are know. they shy, maybe? No, 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 I don't think men are shy. It's just, you know, sometimes we think we have everything figured out and we don't need to ask questions. But anyway, so going back to the question, mm -hmm. 
Um, how, how does she know? Does she know? How does she know? Right. So, I mean, <laughs> it's it, it's you can't base on one thing or another. I think it's a combination of various things. Uh, one thing uh, that people must make sure is that they don't go just for the visual, right? Mm. For what for what they for what they see, and even sometimes just for what they hear, because you know. I can prepare some nice speech and impress <laughs> you, right? Mm -hmm. So that I can get your attention. There's much more to it. I think there is a, a need to to get to talk to the person, hear the person, and talk. You know, give some time, get into a conversation, uh, see who that person is. As I said, it, it, it sometimes is a bit difficult mm -hmm. because people can you know put up an image of someone who they are not. However, you still can get something there, you know, see uh, what are the, that person's interests. True intentions. True intentions, mm -hmm. right? And I think she also mentioned about something, uh, appearance or something like that? No, she's, she's saying, like, the guy looks like he's oh, it looks, in, yes. into you, but into how, you. how can you be sure? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I'll even go beyond this. Mm -hmm. And I think the most important thing, if you want, you know, if you are noticing that there is someone interested in you, first you need to know what you want. Because whether or not someone is interested in you, it won't matter if that person doesn't fit what you, what you exactly. want for your life. Mm -hmm. Also, it's important that you know what is that person after. Mm -hmm. Because what is he interested in? He might be interested in just spending some time with you. He might be interested because he, you know, he wants to get to know you better. So I think there is a difference there. Because to get someone to give you looks is easy. You know, you go somewhere, mm -hmm. you find guys who will give you looks exactly. and will try to flirt with you. So I think it's important that you know what you want. And, for example, with him, how did I know that he was interested? We, we would talk sometimes, but he, he started finding excuses to talk to me. Like, you know, mm -hmm. th there's no reason to I talk, sure but he that. would... I am 100% sure he would make up conversations, um, tell jokes. So it started there, that he, he, he would find excuses to talk to me. And as we talk, I could see that he was until the day that he finally mm -hmm. opened up his heart and said yes. that he so, liked me. Uh, 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 the bottom line is this, go, you have to go over that idea of, you know, just the, uh, you know, the, the superficial, mm -hmm. okay? Or, or the fairy tale kind of, Relationship. No, you, you, you have to analyze uh, much deeper. You have to go much deeper than that. Otherwise, you're going to be up for a great surprise. And You think he's interested in one thing when he's yes. interested in something else. Exactly. And now the last question last for question. today. Last question. So let's see the next question then. I've made many wrong decisions in the past in regards to my love life. The last one resulted in my broken heart and the birth of my first child. I've started attending your weekly seminars. Nice. Very nice. But I'm really unsure if I can get it right after making so many mistakes. It's a good question, right? That's a very good question. So the person is coming to the seminar or made mistakes before coming to the seminar on Thursdays. And um, but there's that kind of uncertainty inside, you know, and, and this is something we talk a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, to people in our one-to-one -on -one, uh, counseling, when we counsel couples and singles. You know, uh, you, you, you have, I think we spoke about second chances. When was it? Yeah, yeah, the our last, last, last show, show. Second was chance. Our last show. That's it. You have to give yourself a second chance. So you, you made mistakes in the past. You're not proud of those mistakes. You want to forget them. Fair enough. You are receiving some guidance now in the seminars. However, it seems like there is something in the back of your mind that is impeding you from progressing. I think I know what, what she means. It's like, what guarantees me that I will get it right this time? After trying so many times before, and the last one was the worst one. So what, guarantee, what has changed? And, 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 well, that's when you have to, to trust mm -hmm. yourself. You have to have faith in yourself. You're receiving some guidance and some teachings 
uh, that we are offering. So put that together and apply those because I believe she didn't have that before. Yeah, and right? I think like this, you made mistakes. I think most people, sane people, exactly. don't make mistakes because they want to make mistakes. They thought they were getting it right because they, you know, they didn't know different. So you have to believe that now that you are receiving guidance, I'm sure that you look back, you see, she has already given a great step because she sees that the result of her having a broken heart and now, you know, having to take care of a child by herself is because she made wrong decisions. So she already learned that, which means she knows she has done things wrong. So mm -hmm. now she's learning how to fix them. That's what you need to believe, that once you apply what you're learning, that you fix what you've uh, gotten wrong in the past, your future will be different. Perhaps you didn't, uh, you didn't have the, the tools, yeah. the necessary tools to do what you're supposed to do. So, but now you have it. Now you're learning something different. So, you know, rip that page off, you know, close that chapter of your life and move forward because there's nothing we can do about the past. And your future is not attached to your yes. past. No, no. Your future your is future, intact. Your future is attached to your present, okay? So if you work your present now, you can create a great future, okay? Having your future attached to your past, that's when you get stuck, you don't move forward. So have your future attached to now so you can move forward, right? Great. Um, if you want to send us your uh, video questions, mm -hmm. you can send us uh, your video questions to our Facebook page, Love Talk, and also Instagram. our Instagram, Love Talk, uh, with the hash, hashtag, hashtag Love Talk love, Questions. I have to ask her because my memory doesn't work sometimes. I've said that before. She's, she's got a, a good memory, so she helps me on that. If you fear that you, know, you have a question, it's very private, you want help, but you're afraid that we, you know, we will say your name here, you just, you just need to say that. Send it anonymously yeah. and we're not going to say your name at all, okay? Just send us your questions, all right? So that was it for Dear Love Talk. That's it for Dear Love Talk.